I'm recruiting the most viral trick shots on YouTube, but on a way bigger scale. Like for this one, Do Perfect made this shot with a toy plane, but I did it with a real one. Woo! Woohoo! Now for this one, Do Perfect hit this shot from 14 feet, so I'm gonna be doing it from 20 feet. Oh, let's go! And by the way, as the video goes on, the trick shots get harder and harder. For example, in this last one, I actually break a world record. First, I'm gonna try to recreate this crazy no scope. This is my first attempt. I hop it off. Oh, where's my gun? Ugh! And as you can see, we have a lot of work to do. It took a few attempts, but eventually. Ooh, oh, did I get him? Oh, I got him! Let's go! This is the airplane triple loop. I'm taking this trick shot to a whole other level by actually flying a plane into the loops. Now, I found this map with one nice loop, but building the other one just took forever. This is what I managed to get, and it's actually pretty small. The airplane could just barely get through. Turn, 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 turn. I don't want to crash this time. Let's go through the third one. Woohoo! Next up is a stair step shot. Now I decided to take this trick shot to a whole other level by actually like building these massive platforms and starting at the top of this like 20 story building. I gotta be honest, setting up this trick shot took forever because getting these platforms right takes a while. Don't let him just be so annoying sometimes too. But the actual shot can't be that hard, right? I was getting so confused why I wasn't going in. So I decided to throw the ball and actually follow it. And then this happened. <gasps> Wait, did I just make it? The next trick shot is a ping pong bottle flip. And I actually have the perfect accessory for this trick shot. This is a ping pong paddle. There's a lot of weird accessories for the quest too. Like this fishing rod, for example. Well, go watch a video where I showcase this is the weirdest VR accessories. Now I have to slide it in here. The only thing is that if I want to use this thing, I have to let go. So I'm going to try to constrain it to my hand. Look at that. <laughs> I decided I should practice flipping the bottle first and I managed to get this. Doink, right on my head. With such a good start, <laughs> I thought I should hit it easily, but it actually took me ages. Finally, after all the mind-numbing effort, I managed to hit this clip. Come on, come on. Oh, let's go. I got it. And by the way, guys, I only have one hour to complete each trick shot. In this clip, he throws a water bottle onto a trampoline. Then it bounces off, does a flip, and lands perfectly on the platform. Basketballs in this game have a great bouncing mechanic, but they're kind of small. So I scaled it up and made it bigger than your mom. I'm going to spawn a bunch of water bottles right now. Then I'm going to throw it onto the basketball, and hopefully it bounces back on this platform. Whoa, like that, and it should land. Uh, no. The reason I think this shot is actually harder than Dude Perfect's shot is because first, everything is at a much bigger scale. And since the basketball is so much bigger, there's a lot more room for error. And I had to throw the bottle in an exact spot if I wanted to hit this trick. And that's why I was so excited when this happened. Where'd go? Oh, it's so high. <gasps> oh, let's go! Next up is a ping pong wall bounce. This shot might look easy at first. Oh! Wow, that's not even that bad. I thought it would be like impossible, but it's looking really possible actually. But it's actually way harder than what it looks. After so many fails, this happened. Yeah, exactly. Right there, right there, right there. Come on. Oh! I was starting to get a bit worried thinking this trick shot is going to be impossible, especially because I'm running out of time. But then... Oh! <gasps> That went in. Let's go. Finally. Unfortunately, I went over an hour with this trick shot. So technically, I failed the challenge. It's looking good. Come on. Come on. This video is obviously fake, but I'm gonna do it for real. Well, I guess it's not, you know, it's not actually real, but you get the point. Oh, that wasn't that bad at all. This is gonna be really tough. There's no way I'm making this. So after 30 long minutes, I decided to throw in the towel and give up. There's just no way. With the ping pong ball is just not responding properly. This is the world's highest basketball shot. Okay. Come on! Come on! Yeah! 
Now I've done a lot of things on this channel, like playing VR in a moving truck, on a plane, and pouring water on my headset. But I gotta say, this trick shot is one of the coolest things I've ever done. That's because I'm breaking a world record here. Dude Perfect made the shot from 856 feet on the Las Vegas Tower. And if made, this shot would be from 1,080 feet. Which, by the way, is exact height of the Eiffel Tower. Dude, Perfect took about like three days to do this trick shot, so this is probably gonna take a long time for me as well. The only difference is that for me, there's no wind, obviously. I just have a lot more control. To give you perspective on how high up I am, the ball takes over 10 seconds to fall on the ground. I realized if I wanted to increase my odds of making it, I just had to throw as many shots as possible. Eventually, one will go in, right? Guys, I got nine minutes left. Come on, I gotta do this. Can I make it? Will I make it? I don't know. I am getting pretty close. After way too many attempts, this happened. Oh, I got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Finally. Even though I broke the world record for the highest basketball shot, unfortunately, I went over an hour. So I technically failed the challenge. But that's okay, because it was still a pretty cool shot. Here's a video of me breaking my headset, pouring water on it. <laughs> if you guys want to see the whole video, just click right here.